So welcome to Adric Central, another update. And in the last video, I still had the uh, end bits of board to do. I've done those. That's just sat in there for the minute. Um, I've also sorted out the back bit for here, but that's got to be fixed a bit more. Um, tell you what I did do as well. I cut this board longer because that way I could fix the, the fiddle yard board on. So it just comes out to uh, about there. So I'll give you a quick look down the other end. Um, so we'll go down the other end and I'll show you that the board down this end is in as well. I had to put a little bit of packing underneath that for some reason. Although it's the same thickness, the chipboard was slightly thicker than the plywood. But I've, I've sorted that anyway. I'll just put some thin sort of shims underneath that just to level it up a bit. So next job is going to be paint the top and seal it coat of uh, matte emulsion on there it's just some uh, emulsion we had uh, left over when we we're decorating so I've just put that on um, one cut I've just done one coat actually I'm thinking it'll probably be okay with one coat I'll wait till it dries and it's drying pretty quick actually so we'll see how it, how it looks I've also done the edge of the board as well so got, but uh, I'm gonna do the legs a different color might do the legs black to match the room I don't know yet um, but uh, yeah uh, for that's one coat of that to seal the board it doesn't look too bad actually it's a bit patchy at the minute because it's still drying but um yeah not looking uh too bad so i've been busy tonight i was doing some decorating the house earlier on and uh well i've been busy tonight because i have put the two plat first two platforms platform one and platform two roads are in i've not fixed the platform down because i've still got the covering on it and that but uh they're, they're laid droppers for the insulating sections are put in and i started laying the station throat now uh put the first two first three points in and uh what we got here um this i've, I've had to sort of juggle this track around here because of clearance for that it looks a bit close there but platform ramp's got to go in so by the time the platform ramps in that will clear perfectly well and i did discover a problem with the pendolino as well if you look on here there's some steps, little step thing there, thing there, look in there. And when it was coming in, it, it, it hit in that, so I've just moved it out slightly. Because you're not, because the platform ramps there, you're not going to notice the gap so much. But uh, yeah, that, that runs in okay. That's the only platform I'm going to have problems with, I think. Um, and of course, I'm using my mainline 45, because mainline, <laughs> my 56, 56, mainline 56 and 45 is a very temperamental on track. But, yeah, runs okay. Perfect, nice and smooth into there. I've got gaps for expansion in the summer as well, so that won't be too bad. They don't don't get very hot in here, so it's not too bad. But but, uh, but yeah, yeah that runs okay. I'm using my old duet as a as a test transform. I'm actually thinking of using this. Um, what I'm going to do is, I mean, this this is where power, two power feeds are going to stay there anyway. But what I'm going to do is use me, me, me comp speed as the main controller coming from the station, and then have a power, have this powering the depot. This one, one, one side powering this depot, the other one powering this depot. So I could I can sort of move trains around as well. Um, there'll be inch inch frog points anyway, so that will that will sort of stem any problems with. Uh, shorts and things like that so I, that's what I'm that's what I'm going to do there anyway so yeah I've been quite busy with that uh, can't do anything else really track well I can put the station throw in and bits and bobs but I can't do anything else because I've run out of flexible track I can put this I can put this piece in here um, because obviously I've got to put the there'll be a join there because the insulate, insulating bit so I can, I can solder the feed onto there drill the holes but I can't put any more track down and for spacing this um, I tried this on Adwick Lane, right? My big steel ruler, if I click, push that onto there and push the track up to it, the rail's right up close to it, that will be perfectly, and there'll be a perfect gap. The big gap the gap will be just about right, because I actually tried it on um, Adwick Lane. And if I push that into there and push the rails up to there, that will be nice and straight. I've been using uh, this ruler as well to sort of get the... The rail's nice and straight as well because sighting along it's a bit awkward so, so i've been sort of laying that against the rail and then uh, using that to uh, 
try and get try and get try and get everything straight if I can. But uh, yeah, so far it's looking alright anyway. But I've I've done a few tests. I've tested my flying Scotsman because the because these steps at the front um, stick out a bit, as I found on Droxford when it when it was <laughs> hitting the uh, hitting the uh, the side of the um, platform. Um, so yeah, that 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 clears all right. So yeah, that's the state of play at the minute. Um, just putting, just starting on the uh, on the station throw now. So quite a bit of progress. We've got platform one, platform two, platform three, and I've just started putting track in platform four up to the uh, in the isolating section because I need some I need some more track. I've literally run out a decent length track now. Uh, what I've got will just be enough to start doing engine sheds and bits and bobs odds and ends and, and stuff so but everything else is down that's all pinned down that's pinned that's 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 pinned down for, for that for that shed that's all done um i've just just put the track there put the shed there to get an idea of where it's going to go i've done all the clearance for this thing <laughs> for the hero star coach uh, especially here of course for where the engine shed's going because um yeah needed to make sure that it didn't sort of overhang anything but that's all okay um that sort of pl plotted that there i bet you set track curves on this curve because i can't do it with with flexi um just awkward to do uh I've put put y point in there uh large ray just, just just didn't fit properly um but i did have the y point there but for some reason uh it just it just didn't work it was a it was a case of Nothing will run over it. The Mi 56 didn't like it. Put it there, perfect. So what I've done, I've put a small radius in there. Actually fits better, to be honest. Um, then I've got like a three-way point in there. Um, then I've got that there. I've got to put, put a power feed there um, on that anyway. Because this this duet's going to gonna gonna run run both depots. That one for there, that one for there. And then me, um, my comp speed will be running the main line coming in um so yeah so i've got all that to sort out uh that building i'm going to keep that building there i quite like that there not sure about that that back bit staying that's off the old layout to go with the canal bit uh i'm going to change some of the i'm going to stick some extra bits on on the back of that and put a a, a bit of wall along the back of there as well uh, before I before I fix all this in properly, because it's probably this engine shed, I have to probably come forward a little bit. So that'll be uh, for that. But uh, yeah, quite a bit of progress. Got to, m most of it done. I've just got I've got just got another. Uh, well, we got another two platforms to do. Three? No, another another three three platforms to do. Then we've got a little head chunk bit in here, in here. But I might be able to use some of these half decent lengths of track so i might actually get this this piece get the engine sheds in on the next on the next video and may even get this this little piece in here as well the little um cold coal yard or goods depot whatever whatever i'm gonna gonna do with it i'm not kind of decided yet but uh i, I put this little bit of track here so i could get get it right for this point to go in but uh, but yeah, I've, I've, I've run me awkward ones before. Mainline forty five, my fifty six, and they all they all run over it. So that's all okay. Uh, obviously, I've got to put all the sleepers in, patch them in eventually. But um, yeah, that's the progress so far. I've still got I'm done the plat fit, platforms have got to be fixed in, but I've got to put all, put the covering on. I've got to put the brick paper on the outside. Cut the ramps. Cut them here. So then, if I need to split the board down. I don't have to rip all the platform out. Can just it just come apart. I've got so I've got to cut the ramp, cut the ramps, do that, um, and then cover it with brick paper. I can fix them down, and then I, I can work out what I'm going to stick on the top. I'm not sure whether to, whether to do pay sort of paving slabs like that, or square, or just square stone slabs. So that's but that's I, I can have a look at that one of well, when they're down and see why actually I can just put print print them on paper put them on see what lot what, what i prefer and do it from there but uh, yeah it's all gone to plan really um i think at, at the moment so uh apart from and then to put set track curves at the end but that's one end things isn't it anyway that's it for, for this and i'll do probably do another update once i've got the engine sheds done 
um, and whatever else I can get done. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, till the next video, bye for now.